I did a simple braid down and beehive for the braid pattern. Okay, so I put some Gorilla Snot and some spritz on her edges off camera and I connected an elastic band to her closure off camera. I just sewed it down on each side. And now I'm just gonna place it in the middle. This is a free part closure, so I don't have to like match up anything. I just have to put it on there and sew it down. Oh, can you put a part in there? Mm-hmm. Oh. Now I'm gonna take it, the hair from the closure, and I'm gonna put a clip on it. So get the hair out the way. Then I'm gonna braid, I mean, I'm gonna sew one side of the closure down, then I'm gonna sew the other side. I might just mute this and do a voiceover, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I can't barely talk when I be doing voiceovers. I got a voiceover. <laughs> I messed up so many times. I'm just keeping it how it is. <laughs> So you start sewing down right at the first braid. And you have to do small stitches and you do stitches in between the stitches of the braid. And I'm gonna show y'all what I mean. So that's a stitch. Now I'm gonna make a stitch that's not connected to a braid. And then my next stitch will be connected to the braid. And I do this so that it could be, I don't know, stronger, I guess. Since the braids aren't super, super close together, but I still need the closure to lay as flat as possible without getting any wrinkles. But you don't want to pull on the closure too much because you don't want it to pull back. So you don't want to manipulate it too much. You just want to sew it down. Like don't pull on the closure when you're sewing it down. And then when I get to the middle part of the back of the closure, I'm going to stop tie a knot and then I'm going to start again from the front. You don't want to sew all the way around at one time. stop the video okay so now i just did the other side off camera so i'm just finishing up the middle you see how it came together perfectly if i would have went all the way around it would haven't it wouldn't have been even and it's easier to shift the closure if you do it that way so now i'm just doing my last stitch i'm gonna pull it a little bit then i'm gonna tie a knot and that's it Thank mm -hmm. you.